In part three of this series, we will explore the additional benefits of using Centrify to secure access to Active Directory. And uh, where are we so far? So what are the benefits of using Centrify A? That in this case, we're using SASL, where the communications are not in plain text. B, because Centrify provides mechanisms for high availability and failover with Active Directory, we don't have to worry about you know, LDAP servers and orders and things like that. Well, what, where we are so far, we were able to set up a test user, Cosmo, and uh, he's able to authenticate successfully into MongoDB, right? But let's take a look at, it, at this under the hood. And this is just with Centrify based, based, uh, based access. So if I take a look at the messages log, and in this case, I'm going to look for particular patterns here. Let's see what happens when we uh, perform this authentication. Notice that what it says in here, there's an entry right here. It says, um, user Cosmo, and this is an audit trail from Centrify. User, user Cosmo has been granted access uh, for the protocol MongoDB using PAM, okay? So uh, let's take a look at, at why this is happening. And for this, we have to take a look at the users that we have in the system. So if I look at uh, AD Query user, she tells me the users that can log in. I'm logged in as Kramer, so I can take a look by lo you doing DZ info and taking a look at his profile. From a privilege man management perspective, this user has the Unix sysadmin um, role, can log in at any time through any PAM application, and he can run any command as root. That is the reason why we were able to use DZ do uh, without knowing the root password and look at the messages log. However, let's take a look at a different user. Let's take a look at Jay Peterman. And Jay Peterman has been provisioned to this machine with a different role. If I look at, uh, let's do DZ do, DZ info for Jay Peterman. Notice how different this role is. This is a DBA role that I created originally for Oracle. But in my security model, DBS should only access to SSH, unlike a sysadmin that can log in through any PAM module. Notice the commands that I have allowed the user to elevate to Oracle. I've actually provisioned this user as well in Mongo. And now I'm going to go ahead and try and, and, and access with this user. So um, let's go ahead and do that. And first, before I do that, let's just open the secure log as well. Get, guess now that I got uh, an error. Let's take a look at this entry. So notice here it says uh, audit trail from Centrify. And let me just uh, do this. Audit trail from Centrify. And it says uh, PAM access. And in this case, it was denied to the user Jay Peterman with the service MongoDB. Why? Because the user is not allowed to use the MongoDB PAM service. This was defined in his role. When I gave, when I defined the role originally in Access Manager for uh, D, uh, DBAs, um, DBAs do not have any other um, access other than SSH. In order for me to fix this, I have to create a PAM access right, and in this case, I'm gonna call it MongoDB. And I need to grant this right to the DBA role. If I go back to my system and I do these info, because you know I, the, the agent hasn't actually refreshed, I'm going to have to do a, 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 an AD flush. If I look at the profile now of the user, now MongoDB is part of that. If I attempt to do the authentication now, notice the difference, now I get access. But what is the benefit here? The benefit is that I know that the easy thing is not to provision the user in MongoDB, but notice how granular at the OS level, access can be controlled, leveraging Centrify, and this extends to any, not only to MongoDB, but to any PAM application. Ultimately, at the end of the day, the way I assign the role for my database systems was to just grant the user the role by way of membership.
to um, an AD group. This is power because it eliminates the complexity and the process of granting access to systems in a granular way. Centrify takes care of the rest, and maybe upstream you have a, an application or a workflow that just drops the user in that group. We take care of the rest of the provisioning, of the access, and whatnot. I hope this uh, helps. And now, as a bonus, we're going to do Kerberos.